द ग्रेट स्तूप एट साची इज ए यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट एंड वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट स्टोन स्ट्रक्चर्स इन इंडिया इट वॉज ओरिजिनली कमीशनड बाय एम्पर अशोक इन द थर्ड सेंचुरी बी सी ई द ओल्डेस्ट एंड द लार्जेस्ट मोनूमेंट इज अ ग्रेट स्तूप एंड हैज अ पिलर ऑफ अशोक साची इज अ ग्रेट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एंशंट इंडियन एंड बुद्धिस्ट आर्किटेक्चर स्टार्टिंग from the mauryan empire 3rd century bce continuing with the gupta empire 5th century ce and ending around 12th century ce why was sachi stupa built for that let's look at the story of buddha and what happened when he died gautama buddha who lived in ancient india between 5th and 4th century bce is revered as a founder of the world religion of buddhism he was born in lumbini now in nepal and raised in kapilavastu he got his enlightenment in bodhgaya and gave his first sermon in sarnath the top of the front face of the right pillar of northern gateway shows the descent of buddha by a miraculous ladder attended by brahma and indra the second panel shows young siddhartha leaving his father's palace in kapilavastu the third panel represents buddha teaching the shakyas buddha died in kushinagara around 483 bc according to mahaparinibba sutta after his death buddha was cremated and the ashes were divided among his followers now this is where it gets very interesting the king of mallas brought the relics of buddha to kushinagara the western gateway rear top shows the king seated on an elephant bearing the relics into the town of kushinagara seven neighboring kingdoms two wanted a share of their relics a war broke out and a siege was laid by the seven kings seen here on the western gateway seven kings distinguished by their seven royal umbrellas are advancing with their armies to the city of kushinagara on the southern gateway we can see the victorious chiefs departing in chariots and on elephants with the relics on their head his relics were enshrined and worshiped in stupas by the royals of the eight countries kapilavastu ramagraha Kushinagar, Pawa, Mallas, Alakappa, Vaishali and Magadha. 200 years later in about 263 BC Ashoka the Great converted to Buddhism after witnessing the mass deaths of Kalinga war. He found many Buddhist stupas were in ruins. In the left pillar on southern gateway King Ashoka is shown in grief at the condition of the peepal tree in Bodhgaya. He then built the Bodhi Tree Temple as shown in the top panel. In order to spread Buddhism, Ashoka tried to gather the eight shares of the relics. However, he could get only seven of these. He failed to secure the relics from Ramagrama as he was opposed by the powerful Nagas there. This act of resistance is shown here in the southern gateway. Ashoka distributed the seven relics into 84000 boxes made of gold, silver and crystal. He erected 84000 stupas. Yes, you heard it right, 84000 and kept these boxes inside the stupas. Even today we can see them from Taxila in Pakistan to Nalanda in Bihar, from Sachi in Madhya Pradesh to Sannati in Karnataka. So that's the story of Sachi Stupa and why it was built. It is indeed remarkable that Sachi Stupa has survived for more than 2000 years and is still the best preserved group of Buddhist monuments in India. It is 50 kilometers from Bhopal and makes for an excellent day trip. When you are here, do not forget to circumambulate the stupa clockwise and see the capital of ashoka pillar of sachi in the nearby museum